welcome to the show, what a wonderful delight uh, Yeah, Patsy and T-Rods, better chop up on the mic Just sit back, have a laugh, catch a vibe, and enjoy the ride Yeah Today's episode is presented by your new favorite vodka, Game Day, a smoother, better vodka that embodies the spirit of the game. Check out Game Day Vodka on social to see if they rep your team's colors. Use the promo code tipped or T Ross to get 15% off your order. Go get it while it's hot. Game day. Shout out to Game Day. Appreciate all their love and support. Everybody go check them out. And we are back with another episode of the T Ross podcast. Very special guest, our guys from Barstool Sports. Mr. Marty Mush, and uh, how you guys doing today? Good, good, fellas. How you doing? Thank you for having me. Thank you guys for coming. This is going to be <laughs> a great cool. episode. <laughs> <laughs> my bones. There's so I much remember, going on that's happening. I told, I told uh, Terrence about Zahn. He was like, bro, I oh. need to talk to this guy ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Hey, it's oh, God, that's a lot of it puts a lot of pressure on me. I hope I live up to the expectations. <laughs> yeah. was like, it was it was such a great story, bro. And I still think about it now, but there was I was like, we have to we have to talk to him. He has to come on the show. Well, what's up? Hey, uh, happy birthday, Marty. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very birthday. much. You need to let everyone know I am younger than Terrence. That's yes. Just <laughs> no, we should have a contest. Like, <laughs> what stage difference? I can't believe I'm like the oldest person here now. But yes, I'm coming close. Yeah. I love you and Sa, same age. You all, you're 32. 30, 30, yeah. Thank God. Did you ever throw your back out? What's up? You ever throw your back out? Oh yeah. That's why. That's why. That's why. I mean, pretty sure you guys asked what I was sitting on. I'm sitting on a stability ball, man. Once you get up there, you you gotta get an edge. <laughs> I threw my back out yesterday. I couldn't even play. We had a game yesterday. I'm going through my workout. I'm going through the workout like literally 35 minutes before the game. On the last three shots of the workout, I, I just like start to go up, and my back just like oh. it, felt, it felt like I, it felt like somebody hit me in like my tailbone was like a fucking with a club. It? it was bad. I, I don't know, but I, I just went up and just felt like just. Instantly start holding my back, and my coach is looking at me like, "Bro, are you faking this shit right now? Or, you, know what? Like, you didn't do anything. You just was about to shoot." And I was just like, "No, there's something wrong with me." For 15 minutes, I had to lay on my back, and I could not move. I could not move. <laughs> I could barely on my back, bro. It was so bad, and I was just like, "What the fuck just happened?" To you? I thought I got shot by like a sniper or something, bro. Like, like, <laughs> my spine and almost just went down. Like it was the most painful thing I ever had. And bro, you know, level. In the in, in the the, uh, the training room kept telling me oh, everybody over 30 kept saying, yeah, I threw my back out this time. Oh, I threw my back out this time. Oh, I, th- I was just like, oh, bro. And, bro, your whole team's like 22. So, like, yo, what's everybody, with old guy? It's a young, young roster. Yeah, they're like, oh, he's old, <laughs> old. Like, gee. Grandpa over here. I turned yeah. it off. <laughs> no, it was a bad day. And I'm still right. really fucked up, so bear with me. Okay, Ooh. so I got a brief – Rundown from Terrence after Marty was hanging out with him about some UFO experience. But I, I really have no idea what it is. So, Zah, how about you take it from there and tell tell us the whole story? Um. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. So, Don't mean to put you on the spot there. <laughs> put you on the spot, but I want to get right. into this. I want to hear about these UFOs. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do my best to try to see where I started. So pretty much uh, it was back in, uh, back in 1994. A Damn. small little, uh, uh, small little school. Uh, my my school uh, right outside. Uh, it's, this is in Zimbabwe, right outside Zimbabwe's capital city of Harare. So it was in a small town named uh, named Rua, a uh, farmer town, small, 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 tiny community, um, like one stoplight type of shit, crazy. So we uh, everyone's at school. Everyone's at school. It's during recess, so the day is split. Uh, the, the day is split into two when you're at that uh, that junior junior school level. It's you know you go in the first first half. You do your classes. There's a break at around 10, uh, 10 or eleven. I forgot exactly what time. Then you come finish off after that at, at one o'clock type of deal. So it was during break time, and I don't know if you guys have you, have you seen Harry Potter. Yes. You know you know what a prefect you know what a prefect is right. Yes, the prefect. Yes. So pretty much in your in your senior year, in your senior year, uh, your senior year equivalent of whatever level of school you're at, 
they pick out of the bunch of kids that are in that year, they pick the kids that they think have, you know, great leadership qualities and they give them extra responsibilities. So little things like, hey, go check people's nails. If they're not cut, you can, you know, you can you can get them punished or stupid yeah, shit like that. What a responsibility. <laughs> you, got this? you got this? So, so, so it's stupid. So it's stupid <laughs> shit like that at, at that elementary level. But one of the things was at break time, the prefects are the ones that generally, you know, watch what the, what what kids are doing. You know, kids are playing cricket and all that. None of you know they they they're the ones that that are keeping track of what's what's going on, kind of deal. So, uh, the staff members had a staff meeting during that break because that's that's the one time that they're all out of class. You know, kids are occupied playing and all that, and they can all get together. And all of a sudden, we're just playing around and all, and this bright object just appears from the sky it appears from the sky it starts coming down towards us so it's it's uh if i don't know if, i don't know if we can go like on on uh actually i might be too long but on like google earth and stuff it's like a, it's it's our school is in the middle of it's a farming town so it's in the middle of an area where it's just fields and yeah. stuff like that so beyond even the school fence you could see shit because it's you know it's open yeah. farming town kind of thing so this shit starts coming down and the kid, us kids are like, what the fuck is going on? Cause I mean, you've never, it's, it's, you literally, you literally have never seen anything like this before. Literally have never seen anything oh, like this before. <laughs> and, and you're checking people's nails for how long they are. Yeah, right? and, like, big guns out. I don't right? know what the fuck. And, and it's, it's just unfortunate. I, I, I always tell when I, when I tell people the story and all that, and it's, it's, it's just unfortunate because you don't really appreciate at that young age, you no. don't appreciate the event that much. Like I needed that. I need that to happen to me right now for me to <laughs> fully, fully, fully <laughs> hey, hey, what the fuck is going on. No. What, what's the, what's, <laughs> what's the, what's the place in Zimbabwe? What was it again? Uh, Rua. So the town, the town's name is Rua, R-R-U-W-A. The school's name yes. is Ariel, A-R-I-E-L. All right, I'm going to try to pull this up on Google Earth as you old. keep going. Yeah, so the field is, it's, yeah, the, so the school is at the corner, actually, once once you pull it up. It's at the corner of Teresa and Achers. But, yeah, so um, this thing hovers, right? It hovers bright light and all that. It 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 lands beyond our school fence, but you can see the thing. Mm -hmm. Right, it's still bright and all that. And uh uh oh here we go. Oh so, wrong one, wrong one. Keep going. <laughs> all right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh yeah, so so the, the thing lands and us kids are like, what the fuck is going on? Run we run up to I think well some kid <laughs> runs up to into a staff meeting to go tell the teachers that yo, something weird is happening. <laughs> something weird is happening, you have to go check this out. So this is a young, this is a young kid that comes in and barges in front of a school meeting, in front of a school meeting. So if you can, if you can type in aerial school, if you type in aerial school in that in that Google search, aerial school Rua. So A R I E L. Area primary. There we go. Boom. Boom. Oh, that, got the tennis court. Boom. Okay. There you go. So you see the bottom oh, field. field. Oh shit! It's moving. Oh, around. that is. The field this is coming to life for me now. All right, all right, all right. So where were you? Where was four year old Zaya? So, when you the, saw so, this? so the school has expanded. No, okay. sure. it, you see where the you see where the red roof is? That was the main main building, and it landed uh, north of the page, so further up the further up the page. Oh shit! A little bit up further here? up, so it landed beyond in this in this, this area right here in that. In that general general vicinity type of deal. Oh, of and, you, and where were you standing? You come, guys were where? We were we were in the place. So we were around that red. That was the main building. That's where the staff meeting was. So okay. that was that yeah. main, that main building was that that uh, that's <clears throat> that's where the school started. That main red building kind of deal. Okay, is where. So, so it wasn't that general. We were playing around then, huh? Yeah, so so we're playing around during yeah, recess while they have the meeting. next field over. It's like the next. It's over. Field. Yeah, you see. So you yeah. see where you see where that thing, but it was so bright, it came from the sky, so you can see it come down. That's a thing. Yeah, that's no, we sure. saw it come down and then it landed beyond the fence. We you couldn't get to it because that's it's, no, it was sure. beyond the school's property, beyond the school's property uh, thing. So yeah, so kid runs in. He you know try and tries to interrupt, tries to interrupt the staff meeting. He's like, yo, something's going on. These teachers are like, all right, whatever. You know, <laughs> you're you're you five year old. You're, you're you're however old kid you are, whatever. You know, <laughs> something's always going on with you type of deal. Then another kid 
jumps in and they're like, yo, something really is going on. And then, you know, I don't know how many kids it took to actually <laughs> convince them to be like, all right, let's, let's stop for a second and maybe go check out and see. And that's what they, that they, they did come out and were able to catch a glimpse of, I think they were able to catch a glimpse of it leaving type of deal. And which, which led to the further investigations from like, you know, all of a sudden now we got, you know, a week, a week later, there's people from Harvard coming in to, 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 to investigate. Oh, really? The story. Oh yeah. There's a lot of research. So the, I don't know if you've seen the, the movie on Netflix, uh, the phenomenon. I it's have called, not. It's I'm called not. the phenomenon on Netflix. It's, it's based, it's based on that story. But Zod, didn't you both like? Didn't everyone like put you all in like? Oh, okay. So, so yeah, so, 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 I don't know. So, story has an end. So yeah. So pretty much. So once once the researchers, once the researchers and all that came, right? So to to confirm the sighting and all, who's gonna believe? That the problem with this situation is that the people that saw it were kids. Yeah. That's what the problem. What 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 the situ with the with the with the, with the situation was. So no one really believes. You know, kids yeah. kids imagination. Who people are not, not really gonna believe it. So when the researchers came in, of which if you want to even Google too, on the, they have the images online. What they did was they isolated us, and they asked every kid that was there that that was there to draw what they saw. They put us in isolation. They asked us to draw what they saw. And surprise, surprise, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> when they collected the pictures, they all looked the exact same. And of which there, there are some on, if you, if you Google the image. Yeah, uh, hold on, hold on. I, I got, got some for you. I, got some for you. <laughs> yeah. oh I pulled up a sketch. It's like the first thing that popped up. Yeah. Also, hey, to back it up just a second, how, how long time frame was yeah. it there, supposedly? If I'm if I'm gonna shoot you straight, it was I I don't even know, man. I'd say probably like. <laughs> Is this your drawings, up? Fifteen. <laughs> you're a, you're an artist oh, from the start. No, 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 no. I was I was I was I was in the what's it called? I was, I was still I was in one of the ones that was called to to do the things the illustrations. But yeah, that's so they literally they have they have multiple they have multiple uh, pictures on. So if you go to like Google Images, you'll see a lot more. I think. If you the aliens oh, got the, the drop. different drawings they got, yeah. They got the drop on y'all. They knew that the teachers were going to be in the little teacher parent. Oh, they're going, and that's, and that's, and that's, and that's the movie right there, there. The phenomenon, the phenomenon on the okay. I'll have to definitely the, check the that out. The phenomenon, yeah, check it out. It's uh, yeah, so pretty much they, they brought the researchers that, and that that right there is what uh is what sold it. And then next thing you know, you know, there's there's the BBC is coming in to conduct interviews, the you know, damn the foreign media, and this is a this is a small small tiny farming community 60. small tiny farming community outside of outside of what's it called outside of uh and so, and so when you're seeing this bro so what how, like what were you doing when this happened i'm you're at recess but when it dropped or did you see like once it landed it just was landed and it just stayed there and chilled to, or, to be honest it, it it is now so long ago it is now so long this, ago yeah. that you what what i remember is so it's 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 an event where each time you meet someone new they're so they curious more. and they want to know it's i remember you remember telling the story yeah. and the memory the memory itself actually fades. Yeah. which 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 brought me back to the whole point where i was like yeah. I, i'd appreciate it a whole lot more if that should happen right now Man. yeah Just that that that, that uh, but bro, Terrence, you're kind of right. Like these, these aliens knew that these kids oh, they knew shit. Like, like they had no one believe it. <laughs> and, and look, it's, and look at the way they picked. It's, it's like an air, area that wasn't built up, farming lands, 60s. What what is it? Like approximately 60 know, folks. No, if like word spread, right, that these kids saw, you know, <laughs> they claimed they saw a UFO. It spread. These kids in Zimbabwe start talking about that. That they saw this, and next you know, there's Harvard, like pulling up this <laughs> it's research. It's not, we, come on now, bro. They, they had to. They had to believe it because there had to be a hint of truth to whatever division that they're a part of, whatever black op associated that they're with. Yes. And they're like, we gotta keep it quiet, but we also gotta figure out what the fuck's going on. Because if, if it wasn't, if it's just a bunch of kids, who cares, bro? Just like whatever. You see again, let us know. But not fuck off, like. They took that serious, and then they made a documentary of it. Now it's on Netflix. So, oh, yep. I mean, oh, I, it, it doesn't make sense, bro. I don't know. Did you get interviewed for the movie? Oh uh, no, 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 not at all. Did it, did it, I had no idea. I had no idea it was being made. It was yeah. like I found out after the fact, or 
Harvard's like scientists being like the first ones there, not the news, because like that's what freaks me out. Like, because they got yeah, to yeah. first, they can get all the information. No, no, the news, no, the news was the news was, of course, the, the news is the first thing to, to to arrive. But but the Harvard guys are the ones that. To, that's when it becomes real to me. I think. They're the ones. The right. researchers. So the researchers. Are, they're Harvard scientists. They're busy being scientists and doing shit. And they drop what they're doing to go to Zimbabwe. Yeah. Yeah. They're out. First on, plane. Man. First plane out of there. We like out there tonight, fellas, and ask these children what they saw. What is going on down here? <laughs> and if I believe them. To the bottom of this, and yeah, that, that is because you know why aliens are real, and the government just pretty much said that. Sorry, they actually said that months ago. But again, today, CNN, or not again today, but a couple of days ago, CNN is talking about, yeah, Pentagon did actually confirm that UFOs are real. It's just a I fact. Mean, we've been, been known that. <laughs> no, no, what? You were posting a bunch no, of that, Terrence. Yeah, I was what, posting. I was what were people saying, saying to you? Nobody was reacting to, nobody's reacting to the way I thought it was, bro. Like, all that we've known, we've that known. Black, you've seen the movie Men in Black with Will Smith. You know all that trouble yeah. they went through to keep people silent, like getting flashed and shit. Like they were talking about, like, well, if people find out that there's aliens, they're gonna lose their shit. In real life, the government just tells us through CNN, and it's like, fuck that. We got TikTok and need to see <laughs> so all get on fucking pay per view and beat the shit out of some fucking MMA dude. And it's just like, damn, are we really that numb to the fact that there's fucking. Aliens. Aliens running a <laughs> no, We no are numb movie. to that. It's almost like what we talked about too, where it's like these movies come out. It's like, dude, it's just like these little green people are walking around. Like that's not real. And like they put it in your head that it's not real. So when someone says UFOs, like, oh, there's those crazy people again. Like, yeah. No way. You run, run, run towards instead of run it, run away. <laughs> yeah, we're we're desensitized to it all for sure. I mean, that's what I'm saying. We're so it just you're numb to it, bro. They just we don't keep know how to add. I'm thinking that there are people were going to be like Independence Day with Will Smith, who's in another alien movie. I thought, you know, people are going to be charging the streets. These big fucking aircraft's going to be over the cities. Like, War of the Worlds. Happening? And there's Tom, just like, Tom all right, Cruise is going to be that's, that's, that's literally That's literally what it was. <laughs> it was just like, some bright light right over. <laughs> videos are taken from military pilots, you know, and other sources of uh, equipment that we have to scan shit. And yeah, we don't know what they are. The, the, and, the tic, they don't call the them UFOs. They call them uh, air, like aerial something phenomenons or something. Something crazy. They, they, have, yeah. they get a term for UFO, basically. And they either change that just so they can kind of throw the crazies off the scent. But here we are. Here we are today with a, with a breakthrough. And I'm upset nobody cares. So. I know. Right. It's just... And that's a, like Za literally saw it. Like, what are we talking? Well, we don't even have to talk about it anymore. He saw it. Like, it happened. He saw <laughs> there's, the it, there's, there's a lot of people. That's the thing. There's this as as you, however many they, they said in that article, over over sixty or whatever. That's and that's yeah. not even including the, the the you know the surrounding farming premises, the 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 farming. Uh, that's just so people what, at the school. So what happens next? Okay, clearly they've been around for. We've been in contact with them. I feel like. For sure, you and I have not been in contact. No, no, obviously. I mean, maybe oh, some nights when I'm no, drunk no. as shit, but but we uh, go, we go visit them, we yeah. go visit them. It's only right, right? <laughs> I feel like there's some elite level government agency or something that's in contact. There's some type of dark, like shadow government that's in contact with aliens for sure. I feel why, like why it. do you think they don't let us know this shit, bro? Because they don't want to scare oh, the wait, shit out of you. Know, you got a meeting, yeah, they got a care. meeting talking about the world, like they we destroy us in one second. Us. They got a meeting of talking about the world, did you say? <laughs> Something they, 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 they like, don't want us knowing too much. <laughs> they don't want us knowing too much, man. They got the, the aliens come down, meet with our the top people of the whole world. It's only a couple people, I feel like. I don't feel like it's anybody. But they could destroy us, I feel like this. If they have vehicles that can move like that. Bro. Well, that's like the other stuff we talk about. Like it's like that one percent of the world where it's like when people try and dig and dig and dig, like that Antarctica guy, he gets yeah. slapped. He's like, "Hey, come to the White House. You need to shut up, or where you're yeah. going to expose some things that people don't need to know about." And that's when it all blows up, which is probably going to happen at one point. It's crazy. It's crazy. Come, on, come on, bro. You, bro. It should have already happened, bro. It's been hundreds of years with this government. 
we, like they they I, don't let shit slip up for real. And if they do, they cover it so well that like people really don't give a fuck. But they don't they don't even give everybody access to it, bro. They don't even give the president most access. Sometimes you hear like when the presidents become president, they're like, no, I want to sure. know what's going on in Area Fifty One. No, they, for they, sure. and they don't even give it to them most of the time. No, I understand that, but there has to be like who's the guy um uh, uh that was on the area S four. Oh, uh. The guy that's on Joe Rogan that did all the Andrew interviews, uh, and did, did the movie, whatever. We'll come back to it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but if he, if like he had, there has to be more of him to be there out there. They're like, okay, like we don't want to tell us. Bob, La- Bob Lazar, Bob Lazar, yeah, Bob Lazar. So there, there has to be more like you know people like Bob Lazar there in some way. Just don't want to say anything, but I. They harassed him though. The government harassed him after yeah, he, he came out. He just wanted to live a simple life. Just told him what he saw, and people just harassed him. That's what makes you believe him. It's not yeah. like he was trying to get anything out of it. This no, dude had a I fucking firework it. company where he built sick fireworks because he's smart. <laughs> like, bro, this dude's just chilling with rocket cars in his house in the fucking fireworks stand. Well, like you said, that's why people don't yeah, want to it because the government harasses you. It's like not worth it. It's like you're not even yeah. gonna believe me. One, you're gonna think I'm. Cr- you're gonna make me look yeah. crazy. That's- and three, it's like I'm getting nothing out of it. I'm just telling you what I saw, and, and that's why no one wants to talk about it. And I thank the Lord for this movie because that's the, that's the boat that I that's the boat <laughs> yeah. that I fell in. You just said like, people that way. Go watch like phenomenon. People, people come and ask me. People come and ask me. I tell you, then you tell me that I'm lying. Then I'm a terrible. I'm like, all right, whatever. <laughs> it's like, all right, just watch this movie. Before <laughs> Barstool, too, because Barstool, we always say like crazy shit. But like before Barstool, you're like at your accounting job, like bro. I saw UFOs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, dude, shut up. Like, what are you talking about? Tell, telling John Smith. <laughs> <laughs> like, do your taxes, man. <laughs> well, Zah, that was an unbelievable story. Thank you for that. Now, Marty, what's your UFO story? Yeah. Oh, fuck Yo, fuck if I got a UFO story, I'd be, I would die before. To tell that story. Oh, yeah. for sure. Every front page yeah. everywhere. The government can get the hell out of my way. I'll be doing I'll be doing anything. I mean this this motherfucker might be a goddamn UFO. That's <laughs> <laughs> feel like it. I did you guys see this? I was just talking to Terrence about this. But did you see this whole dinosaur thing? We can dinosaur? make it. Oh, oh, this happened in Florida, bro. Let me see if I can make this bigger for you. Of course it happened in Florida. What do you mean? Look at look at this thing. What? Oh shit! <laughs> Dog, it, that's a crazy oh. movement. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That, that is, is a like crazy movement. Someone, like, that is like in someone's backyard. That is. That's two legs, right? That's two legs for sure. Two legs, two legs, and it's like tail. going that way, bro. Yeah, it's like it's more like Naruto. Like it's like, <laughs> it's yeah, going, no, bro. That, and that cool. little the uh when it around well that little flash on its back too. That's yeah. what a little it's, glimmer. Yeah. So, yeah. you know what this is, Terrence. What? Yeah, bro. The those, they look like those. Um, so they look like, like little dinosaurs. Head. Yeah, like since there's lakes, like Marty, you know, it's it's water. There's bodies of water everywhere you go in Florida. Like you can find a gator or whatever anywhere. Wow. There's these big, like four foot five, walk like tall cranes with these long hey, the Gatorland, Gatorland. Yeah, those like Gator and they go you. backwards like this. Like you got the food in your hand. They, come right, and they always travel with like in, in packs of like two and then they'll have like a baby with them that's like a little smaller and they're always just like walking around. Like they don't give a shit. They they they'll walk in traffic slow as hell. Cars <laughs> and stuff like they have no <laughs> I swear they're the most bravest bird I've ever seen. So my girl calls me the other day I'm like on the road and I have a small little tiny dog. Maybe I can go get him. <laughs> <laughs> little Louie. That dog is Louis tiny. Louie's sick. <laughs> Marty, what were you doing in Orlando? My uh, my parents live in Claremont. Oh, okay. And it's like literally like 20 minutes away. And uh, I was just hit him up. And I was like, yeah, down chill. And this guy, what a life this man lives, man. What a life. And he's, he's getting a new that. house, man. His oh, new house yeah. is going to be. He's such a piece of uh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, trust his, me. His gate. I got to go through a gate. I got to talk. I couldn't get it. The domino guy <laughs> left me. <laughs> <out>. <laughs> I don't know where I come uh, from. I can't be getting gates. He goes, I know. <laughs> All right. This is how small oh, yeah. my dog is, right? Like, he's <laughs> tiny, bro. Like, he's oh, holding my computer. Yeah, he's, 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 yeah, he's a little doodle, right? Little, little poodle boy. These birds are huge, right? 
he's outside. My wife's in the garage cleaning something out. And, you know, we let him out. He runs down the street. He's whatever. She all of a sudden just hears this dog, like, screaming and barking and, like, doing that weird, like, crying noise. She looks out, and it's these these two giant birds just pecking <laughs> out of my dog, bro. And the beast are, like, longer than his legs. And they're just, oh, they're shit. like, a little baby one, like, walking around. And so they must have got pissed off. He was too close or something. They start drilling him. She hears him, like, barking. She's thinking, like, somebody's kicking him. So she goes out there. And now he's like dead sprint running towards her. And then the birds are like right behind him, too, doing that motion, like the little t -t 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 coming for the dog. But she said she was like <laughs> terrified. She got she ran back in the house and just waited for him to come and just close the door quick because it got in the garage. And that just kind of just waited for a little bit and they just walked off and left him alone. We almost he lost Louis. Louis, <laughs> Louis almost yeah. got we almost got heck <laughs> that has and to look like, like a dinosaur to him. him. That looks like oh, a dinosaur to him. Oh, bro, he probably thought he that's that's what it was. He was just probably trying to go take a piss somewhere and just, <laughs> was, you know, yeah. walking with his head down. They said you're in the wrong, you were in the wrong part of the neighborhood, kid. Bro, if that was me. That curtain would have. I would have left Louis out to dry, man. I'm closing that oh, door. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I would have hopped on top of my car. I don't think I've ever seen those birds fly. They just walk slow as shit everywhere. But I would have probably hopped on top of my car, or got in my car, and just waited. Bro. You know, for those the, things at Gatorland, bro. Those things are scaring the shit out of me, bro. Oh, yeah, We're feeding them food, and then the birds start walking at you slowly. I, what's and they like, just, try to faint at them, and they just they would not. Bro. And they don't move. These fucking yeah. claws for feet. And it's like just, Kobe. It's like Kobe, Matt Barnes. Those birds do not move. I was trying yeah. to <laughs> <something. laughs> <laughs> and they just <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> getting closer and closer. Well, Kyle, bro, bro, have you been to Gatorland? What do you say? Have you been to Gatorland? No, I've never been there. You should have went when you're out there, man. It's you got to every time I go out there. Yeah, feed bro. the gators. Feed big old you gators. Should, you should do the zip line over the gators. No, don't do that. Anywhere near these. Why? <laughs> bro, it's amazing. Why it's, would, I mean, why I would they even have that? that? They have all types of. They have a, um, they, It's growing. That place is getting a lot yeah, more. Yeah, bro. They have bro. Like a, you can you can take like a swamp ride and like these big four wheeler things that they got, and they'll like drive you to like the swamp where like the actual swamp is and. They got like this nature walk where they be like, you got to walk at your own risk because there could be gators back there. Or snakes. And there's like a ton or of snakes. water moccasins back there. My son and my my cousins were walking one time and they took a picture and it was like, a, it was a moccasin on the fucking pathway. So they're like, ah, we got to go back. <laughs> yeah. Just, hey, remember what? Yeah, fuck that. Bro, when I, no, when I, when I went in the water out there, so we went tubing and uh, oh, yeah. wake surfing and obviously I was nervous. I'm from the Pacific Northwest where there's nothing in the water. Yeah. And um, so we get on the tube, and obviously it's like first thing is gator. So I'm holding on for dear life. Like yeah. every time I'm in the water, bro, like we go towards the swamp side. Yeah. I'm like, ah, like, dude, he, I he would like try tore to all my muscles. This. He would try to toss us into like the grassy marsh where like, dude, no, like knee scary. high. Nah, bro, I, I gotta break all my fingers trying to hold it on then. But he didn't say anything till the end, bro. So after we got off and we're going back, he's like, "Yeah, you shouldn't even be really about, worried about the gators. You gotta be worried about the water moccasins." I was like, "What the? Now you're telling me this, like, bro?" I was just like, "All right, that might be the only time." Water, water. Bro, I found one in the, in my backyard. It was a little one. It was like slithering towards my window, but I had to get a shovel, like get it, scoop it out, and throw it, and then go cut its head off, bro. We gotta edit off. that out for PETA. Jeez, yeah. uh, he, had uh, he, uh, uh, he, he started that story off so nonchalant. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Cut, his, cut, cut his head, his head off. off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were sending me videos of that shit too. That's I got him. Yeah, you saw scary. Hey, PETA came after me. They came after me when I had my. Oh, your bird, Rudy. 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 I would, <laughs> like live stream myself with just gambling for like seven hours with my bird on a broomstick. <laughs> and, I, and it was on a broomstick. And all, all of a sudden, I like screamed after a bet. The bird flies and he smashes his head on the wall. Do they die? What no, I, I didn't even go <laughs> back on the stick. Bro, I'm going to send it to you now. So you, you got to listen. It's an all time clip. <laughs> like with the volume on, because you hear its head just bash against the wall, bro. I said that we can play it right now yeah. too. Oh, I want to see this. Birds the window here, and that just a loud thump. I'll tell you, dude. Birds, man. Like a they, they, they love a clean glass window. I tell you that. 
Oh, a bird oh, loves it. Let's take a second from the episode to talk about one of our sponsors, the everydayfan.com, your one-stop shop for all your sporting news, whether it's the NBA, NFL, or the EPL league, they have you covered, but they don't stop there from pop culture to wrestling and entertainment. There's something for everyone with some of the best writers in the game. Come get a fresh perspective from everyday fans like you while you're there. Check out the memorabilia shop and make your man cave one to MV. Go check out the everyday and get all your news you need. Shout out to the everyday fan. Everybody go check them out. Za, how about you? Um, I don't want to forget about it, but how about you talk about your new podcast you have? Yeah, yeah thank you. Uh, back again. So, so soccer, we're trying to, we're trying to cover soccer here in the U S I'm a big time, huge Arsenal fan. Uh, but Ooh. I mean, I don't know if you guys heard the soccer world just absolutely changed yeah. from the dime the day. Yeah. Great. Explain that to us. Explain yeah, it to I our, can... our uh, fans yeah. and everything. Cause I don't, I don't, I didn't really understand what happened. Yeah. So, so, I mean, there's still, there's still a lot of shit going on. There's still, the details are still coming out, but pretty much the, the biggest clubs in the world. I think there's about 15 of them. Uh, mm. they're, uh, one of my teams, uh, the money makers, pretty much the, yeah. the big money, the big brands in the world, uh, Arsenal included, just decided decided to to uh, to link up, form a little conglomerate, uh, and start a new league that they are looking to replace the Champions League. So they're saying mm. that the, financially, the Champions League, because of uh, because of COVID and all that, it's just not doing it. A lot of these clubs built new stadiums, and you know they just don't have money to. They're not getting enough money, so. Uh, it's a money grab. So yeah, yeah. for sure. People yeah, seem upset. Oh, very, very yeah, upset. They're gonna suffer. Yeah, very, very upset. So it, it goes. It's pretty much going from. See, it's 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 different. The culture, the sports culture, is different here in the U.S. You know, the fans accept that sports is a business, whereas mm-hmm. you know that uh, across okay. the pond, it's it's a little bit different. And uh, yeah, it's it's they're trying to they're trying to uh, they're changing the model. They're changing from the tier uh, the tiering model, the relegation promotion thing to. To more of an NBA, NFL, uh, American sport type of league. Yeah, but no, like, sorry, tell me if I'm wrong. No offense to the Magic, but like, wouldn't it be like the NBA? <laughs> wouldn't it be like the NBA just taking the Lakers, the Bucks, like, uh, the Clippers, and like the Nets, and just making them play all, all over? Like, facts, facts, like, yes. right? Power five, like football. Uh, yeah. I, I guess. So yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess. Yeah, to dumb it, to dumb it down. Yeah, to dumb it down. They'll have, yeah, they'll be just like that. Taking the, the but it, it'll be like the Lakers, the Celtics, the Knicks. Yeah, but like these teams are other. coming from different countries and different leagues. Yeah, but, but doesn't that so the Champions League gives other like lower level teams an opportunity, right? Yes, and yes. that's what the big part of the whole and, Champions League is. Yes, and then the revenue, the revenue uh, it's, gets spread. It's, it's 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 spread out more, and also I mean the Champions League. They they're also trying to look out for their interests because they're they're those teams that are forming the new league are the money makers for them too. So. so they'll still have like it'll still be the same setup, just no Champions League. So the the like Spanish teams will still play in their own Spanish league type thing. Yeah. So so the, on the Champions League side, I'm uh, not too sure yet. There's not there's not enough information out there to 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 give a solid solid answer. But it's it looks the Champions League is looking. Well, I mean they they're trying to they have op, they have had obligations and all that. So they're trying to figure that shit out. But uh, on the domestic league front, so in the countries that they play, La Liga and the Premier League and all that, they're saying that uh, the Super League people are saying that they can play in the domestic leagues. But that's they're also yeah. that's also fucking with their money because hey, if you're playing Barcelona this week, then Real Madrid next week, and then uh, you know on the weekend you're playing West Brom. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put the superstars to play West yeah. Brom. That yeah, so it's, they're gonna it's, chill. Yeah, it's it's a lot is going on. <laughs> then well, like, yeah. they were like we definitely need to make that like a possibility on like FIFA 22 or something. <laughs> that's that's it. With those, team, those teams are pulling out. Those, team, those yeah. teams are pulling out of FIFA 22. They're gone. They've gone out of FIFA 22, so no more Arsenal, no more Magnetic. Are you serious? No more. Yep. yep. Who's your They're favorite out. Arsenal player? Who's your favorite Arsenal player? Own soccer game, that will be fun to play. It <laughs> Either way. All time, who's, who's your favorite Arsenal player? All time, ooh, that's a tough question. Uh, you're, big, you're a big uh, Venga fan. What's what was the coach's name? Arsene yeah, Venga. Venga. Yep, yep, yes, yep. Yes. My favorite, I'd have to say, is probably Robert Perez. Is, is my favorite. It's a toss up between him and Henri. Yeah, that, that's very yeah, true. I couldn't yeah. name one Arsenal yeah. player all time. <laughs> you know, it's actually funny because my roommate in college, like I never was into soccer, and he got me playing FIFA. He was the biggest Arsenal fan, Robert Van Persie. He just oh, like oh that skill, that's he, he, <laughs> that 
y'all. He's a sellout. Hey, Marty, did, did you send that to Terrence or I texted the? I just texted you, Terrence. Oh yeah, send it this way. But Marty, yeah, make sure you listen to back oh, again. God, yeah, back again. Go check out my, my man's so on there. The uh, bird from Rio. You said what? It's the bird from Rio. He's gambling with. <laughs> the bird from the Rio. Why can I get this copy and paste? Here we go. Wait, is, is that is, is Rudy in Long Island? Or? Rudy's in Florida right now, bro. Oh, I couldn't. Okay. He's living. He's living. Yeah, he couldn't be in. I couldn't bring him to Jersey in, in like Jersey. my apartment, dude. It just like I thought, I thought your brother. I thought your brother took him, bro. This this bird has like my voice. Like I, it's got a pair. Oh. Of, <laughs> like it oh. sounds like me. Like I'd be in the oh, shadow. No, I'd be in the shower and it'll be going like mom, mom, and my mom be like, What do you want? Like it's <laughs> me in the shower <laughs> and just freaking no. out. <laughs> what up? <laughs> I might get a pair, bro. My wife wants to get the dog away, but a pair? You can teach it like curse words, teach whatever you want. Just put it on All like right. a tape when you leave and it says whatever you need. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a great idea. Okay. I'm going to have to do that. Oh, I want to hear the thump. I need to hear the thump. <laughs> can you guys hear that or no? No, no. I can't hear anything. But I saw the oh, you can't hear. Damn. Thumps. I can hear it. Fuck. It's a loud <laughs> thump. Damn, I don't know if I can get the audio. I'm going to play it on my phone. I got you. Yeah, look it up on your phone. And the people that are listening to this, go to Marty's Instagram and check this out. What date was this? This is a while ago. Yeah. February. February 19. Wow. Did you hear the bird chirping in the background? <laughs> <laughs> Terrence, that's the reaction. Bro, it's such a loud thump. <laughs> Dude, just whap. Are you so right? Peter, hey, wait. So Peter messaged you? Yeah, Peter was like, "Yo, you got like you got to clip his wings or something. Like you can't be letting him do that." I'm like, "Oh my god!" Oh my god! Yeah, because we we, we clipped, he clipped it and went viral, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know it could fly. It never really flew. I always had it on a broom and it would walk around. <laughs> 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 what made you scream at first? Because, bro, I thought as I'm on a live stream, I thought he was gonna die on the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Smashed his head. I'm like, he's oh. gonna die. You first of all, him him flying already got it's. You could tell it spooked you, and then yeah, the went from that to like you watching him ram his spine right smack into the wall. To like I've killed this thing and now I'm going to <laughs> room on live stream. Yeah, that would have been I genuinely didn't know it was gonna fly. I was like, oh. No, no, for sure not. For sure not. He probably didn't know he was gonna fly either. No, he didn't know he was no <laughs> idea. He's like, Why am I on a broom? Why am I sitting on a couch? <laughs> I should be in a rainbow for like point two seconds. Yeah. Predator alert. He was out there, he was like, oh, I can't fly. Did you end up clipping the wings or were you just like, Hell no, I was trying to make it <laughs> <fall out laughs> the house. It's crazy. Jesus Christ, Marty. He did one out of window, and that would have been real bad news. Yeah, that would have been tough. <laughs> See you later. I need to get a bird now. <laughs> get a bird. Get, get a bird. bird. <laughs> pair. How much you can have it on the show. We'll have it on the show as a guest. Bro, a they, live, they live for 87 years. What? Like, we're all going to, like, everyone on this podcast is going to die before that thing dies. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, how the hell? It's like getting a tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I can load them up with all my little dad quotes from my kids, and then once, oh. <laughs> yeah, once you're yeah, done alive, <laughs> yeah, it'd be that little creepy bird that's that's keeping dad alive. You're on your way out anyway, dude. Your back's oh, going. Bro, you gotta go to the next generation. generation. I gotta go. Do, wait, I gotta take my medicine. <laughs> um, I know we haven't talked much basketball, Marty, but I seen your tweet. Obviously, I live in Spokane. Gonzaga got Chet today. Yeah, yeah. You said he took the easy way out. I also mess with a lot of Gonzaga fans because they play like Pacific twice a year and they got to play like BYU. But like what I said this year, dude, it's like they played all the good teams, but a lot of the good teams in the beginning of the year don't know their identity yet. Like yeah. Kansas didn't – they played Kansas first game. They played Virginia. 
when like the Big 12's playing their best basketball, like when Baylor's playing their best basketball in February, yeah, yeah. Gonzaga's still playing Pacific, and that's nothing to take away from Gonzaga. It's just what their conference is. But like, yeah, I don't know. I, I Chet. I mean, first of all, Chet's a terrible name. One of the worst. Like, you can't be good if your name's Chet. <laughs> he's seven one one ninety. Dude, Dude, he's lanky. Lengthy. Like, he, I, I, I watched a video. He just dunks standing. Yes, he he's just stands skinny. there and dunks. Skinny. It's painful. So that's yeah. like he's super talented, but it's painful to watch that guy just stand. It's and cringe. Eat. It's cringe sometimes. Yeah, he's oh, body, really? you know? like but so many, especially the NBA, but like college, he could get bodied easily. Maybe that's why he went to Gonzaga, trying like gain some muscle yeah. first. WCC. Yeah, let me let me you know take some of these licks from Pacific before I go out to you know we play Georgetown or, or some other big. Come in the first round. Yeah, yeah like that. And he is a, very skilled though. He's super he's skilled. Extremely skilled. I saw yeah, it going very... around his back on Steph Curry, and then dunked it over like two guys. So. <sighs> Being a seven one guy like dribble like that too just bugs me out. Like I think you're automatically unbelievable if you can dribble like that when you're that tall. You yeah. should see. I, I know Porzingis isn't like the Porzingis. Well, he is. Porzingis, He's tall like, as shit. Porzingis bro, is tall, bro. The first time I ever I saw him in Vegas, I was like, and like he was like this in the elevator. Bro, like, oh my when God. I seen him in Vegas, I was like, what the hell? Seven foot three, bro. But he can dribble and he can shoot. He does all this. It's just like, how do you even? Function like walk with this frame. I don't know, bro. That's what I literally like. I interviewed this guy, uh, the guy from Michigan, Hunter Hunter Dickinson, and I was literally my first. Guy, I was like, bro, how do you even like go to the bathroom? How do your legs yeah. fly? <laughs> <out?" laughs> they, they, like, they get numb. They get numb. They get numb when you have them elevated like that. Yeah. You gotta, ah shit! Well, yeah, wake up. I, bro, if, uh, my my knees will go numb if I'm on the toilet for too long, and if I stand up too quick, <laughs> and you're six, I six. easily pass out. Fact. It happened. It's happened. Are you taking your oh. Nintendo Switch into there? Or what? You're playing Pokemon on the shitter? I ah, I have not gone into the bathroom without either my phone or some headphones. Yeah. Maybe since 2003. <laughs> I am. I can't. I can't not. I can't go in there and listen to the sound of me defecating. It, it's. Oh, what? Horrible, bro. I, I what haven't is wrong with you, dude? I haven't heard myself poop. Oh, you have. To play music or in something. 15 years, bro. I, I can't do it. I will not do it. That's the craziest thing. I don't poop in public. Not even at the gym. I've seen I get, what, I get that. My past teammates have done to this toilet that they that we <laughs> ridiculous. I've never in my life. Those are big boys too. I feel like Mo. I feel like Mo Bamba. He ain't, he ain't good. He, you don't want to go to the bathroom after Mo Bamba. Oh no, bro. He should. Every time, bro. We, there's like a, at least four guys that always shit before a game. How can you shit? Before Wait, a game? okay. So you've never never taken a shit in the Orlando Magic Arena. Uh, you have to. You found like a I secret side it, bathroom. Once in the team locker room, but no, like I will walk, walk around and find a private bathroom. That like's meant for like a has a code people. has like a code at the end of it. Our family room where the family stays, that room doesn't get used other than when they're there. So for the game, that yeah. room's always open. They got some for the little kids. They got some for the adult. Like, that's <laughs> where I don't ever have to shit. This man hasn't listened to himself shit in fifteen years. <laughs> that, that's unbelievable. That's Bro, unbelievable. It's, it's that is wild. unbelievable. This smells already enough. If I can get <laughs> good, <laughs> they get I, I will not. I will not. I will hold it. I will hold it until my headphones are charged. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the polar opposite of you, Terrence. I, I cannot listen to anything or watch anything when I'm on the shitter. I'm locked in. Fully exactly. focused, right? <laughs> yep. yep. It's like that, a job for Zod, dude. He, it's a right. mission for him. Shirt off, locked in, fully loaded. Okay. Zod, yeah. are you, does your, your legs probably don't touch, does your they legs don't. hit the ground? No, they, don't. 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 they don't. They're dangling, yeah. Then in public, when if, if worse comes to worse, I'm I'm also a home shit. I don't shit no road games when I'm shitting. Yeah. Worse <laughs> no comes, oh, comes to worse, if I'm on the road, I just park. I stand yeah. on the fucking seat. There's been times <laughs> in my career where I'm leaving the hotel to go to the arena before the game, which is maybe three or four hours before the game starts, and I have to take a shit before I leave, and I don't because I'm rushing for time. I will not take a shit until – after the game, after we shower and fly to the new city and get into our hotel room, which is an extra eight or nine hours. That is not healthy. 
That so can't I, be healthy. I, I refuse to shit in team bathrooms, public places, or anything that's. And you guys like, have the best facilities. You know what really my mind. I have been going, getting ready for, like, getting ready to go onto the court, and I have teammates, two of them. <laughs> Stall by side side by side. together. Side by side shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was appalled, bro. I was, yeah. I was like, "How can y'all do this to hear, to hear to smell somebody else You're right next to each other?" No one else. All right, that leads. Okay, that leads me to a question for all of you guys. Oh. How about farting in front of your significant other? Is that something trying. you do? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you just kind of at, at first you can't, but you just got you just got to something to do. You you just you're in pain for like hours. You don't. I hear people that don't do it. I'm like, I, I don't. How do you do that? It's like you can like I'm try like, and tone it down a little, but you just gotta let it go. <laughs> I, gotta, I don't even like. I won't like fart on her, but <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> all I was about to say. <laughs> when I had when I that's fart, like, it's almost like that's almost how I know I'm. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. yeah if one yeah. slips out and I'm like, okay, I'm about to pass out. You have like I'll, 20 seconds to wake me up. I, I'll tell you that though. Like when the first time you're like dating or hanging out with a chick and you like are kicking it for like two or three hours in the whole time, bro. And then you get to your car and I think someone made like an Instagram video of it. It's like a three minute fart. Just. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You're like feeling on the planet. You're like Dude. legit pain, man. Oh, yeah. You're like, yeah. oh, where'd oh, all this no. air come like in? <laughs> so all this air came into my stomach this whole time I was with you, man. Damn. Yeah, you get no other talk on any other podcast of aliens, fought, and right, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Aaron Joss not hearing man. himself shit for 15 years. The reptilian people, man, they're running yeah, it yeah. all. They got all the farters and the shitters. And this is why people don't care that they exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to live in this kind of world. I didn't, uh, I didn't want to do it. But I didn't want to do it, but you did it. So, okay, so just last before we wrap this up. If if these are UFOs and they're being confirmed, that means that there's life on other planets, or is this just Russia and China fucking with us? No, and that's what they're gonna, it's gonna be a terrible oh. plot twist. No, they're in Antarctica. We know it. Yeah. <laughs> they're in Antarctica. I can feel it in my bones, Marty. To there, <laughs> they're down there. The the world. The, these movies tell us they're in space because we don't know anything really about space. But they're really just chilling in Antarctica because when they started digging, they told that guy to stop digging because there's underground life under there. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. There was a on my Instagram page, and on my on my uh, feed, who I follow. His name is Soul is Ice or Soul on Ice. Under you send me that shit like once a week. <laughs> oh yeah, Soul is Ice. Is, oh, bro, so he has he he came out with um he didn't come out he he found like. A video of him, that's maybe 20 some minutes and it's chopped up to like three different sections explaining all the different races and types of aliens that come to the earth been to earth or live here now or whatever bro it is a shit ton of them and then some of them are like you know here just doing their own thing some here just kind of like you know interacting with humans some are just kind of like we come every now and again and see what the fuck is going on it's wild shit bro and he was it really got me thinking, like, if that's it. And they were saying the other thing is, like, everybody, they they basically have, they have, like, they made everything so that everybody's kind of suppressed to what's going on. So we can't, they don't really understand or we don't, or we're not told about it. They said it's been like that for, like, 5,000 years is what this video was saying. But I was like, if it's been that goddamn long, I hope that we in our lifetime get to see the end of it. And then we're just, like, living in some Star Wars uh, utopia. Please. And- I can carry a legal uh, uh, lightsaber on my person. So, a, a ray gun, a ray gun from Call of Duty yeah, Zombies. I, that's the word. Dude, I, I, dude, I, dude. I got the ray gun. Yo, where do they say they say Santa Claus is in the North Pole, right? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Anyone wants to go to the North Pole because mm-hmm. you want to get presents, and oh. they don't make you go there. Marty, no Marty. Like keep us away. I'm. This you might be on to something. <laughs> you might be on to something. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. With that and, Santa Claus theory, you had me sold. <laughs> they're, they're using it as a distraction mechanism, too, I feel like. They just keep releasing it to, just to, yeah. like, get our minds off other shit going on in the world, yeah. I feel like. Yeah. 
So it's like, oh, there's stuff going on. Okay, we'll just throw some UFO shit out. Or they try to sneak it in when a oh, bunch of other big stuff's going on and be like, oh, we didn't just declassify like a million pages that you can go look through a website, the Black Vault. Like, you can do that. You can do that. Something needs to, I just want to know. Terrence, you need to meet him. You need to do a one on one interview. We'll send you. <laughs> Yeah. One month, with the people, no, I don't with the stop. people, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna trust with leaving. You're just talking about crazy. taking a shit, how you haven't heard one in 15 years. That's all I want to talk to the aliens about. Like, yeah, you hear yourself, you guys, you you poop, you poop, your pooping habits. <laughs> you can use a bathroom, or you guys just gonna wait till you guys get home. Right? <laughs> you should, you should, yeah. we should all, should all, or should all. <laughs> yeah, how's the uh, yeah. how's the shit around the UFO? Uh, <laughs> that propulsion yeah, system. Are you, I'm not shitting on the team plane, so I'm sure you, you guys aren't going to feel more comfortable, you know? But yep. either that. Oh, that's awesome. Two guy, hey man, well, I really appreciate you guys, man. This is always awesome. What to do this again, as thank always. You, thank you, thank you for yes, having me. Yeah, this this was fun, man. Really enjoyed being here. Thank you for having me. How, how about you guys shout, shout yourself out again? I know, Marty, you got your. Uh, just go ahead and tell the fans what you got. Yeah. Um, follow me, Marty Mush and Terrence. It's coming out. The documentary of uh, yes. Travis the Chimpanzee. It's an unbelievable one. It's coming out. <laughs> I'll send you the rough cut. It's something. Yeah. I need I need to see it. That's why I've been sending you like random chimpanzees <laughs> and Instagram messages the last like few days, bro. Just random <laughs> chimpanzees. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, go check that out. We'll be doing a bunch of stuff. That's awesome. How about you, Zah? Uh, Zah Za is what I go by at the Midget Zimbo <laughs> on Twitter, Instagram. So that's at the D A Midget Zimbo Z I M B O on Twitter and Instagram. And make sure you follow back again for the hottest, uh, all the hottest soccer news. Appreciate yeah. you guys. Thanks, yeah. boys. Thank yes, you, sir. Bless, bless. Thank you. Yes, have a good night, y'all. Good morning, good evening, good night. Yeah. Welcome to the show, what a wonderful delight. Uh, yeah, Patsy and T Rods, better chop up on the mic. Just sit back, have a laugh, catch a vibe, and enjoy the ride. Yeah.